Oh yeah, almost 10 inches of rain, you guys, and I bet we'll be over the top into the 10 inch range as we head through the afternoon, the next couple of hours. So here's a live look outside overcast conditions and it is wet, but we are starting to see some drying on the west side of Portland down toward Monmouth. Rain coming down at the Skamania Lodge and it is snow up in the Cascades. A lot of it too. More on that in just a minute. Closing in on half an inch of rain since midnight. So the first 12 hours of the day, we've picked up just shy of half an inch in Portland. Portland, three quarters of an inch in Salem, and look at the difference it makes uh, your location along the coast. Newport, almost three quarters of an inch. Meantime, Astoria barely saw a trace this morning. You can see it was also a wet start to the day in the Dalles with a little over three tenths of an inch. So the heaviest rain now draped over the east side of town. If you live in Laurelhurst, you live uh, out toward the Hollywood District, Gresham and Troutdale, you're still really feeling that rain. But Hillsboro, Aloha, the last hour or so, you've started to see things dry out and out along the coast between Astoria and Tillamook. Things remain mostly dry and you'll stay dry all afternoon. Snow showers continue in the Cascades and east of the mountains. A mix of rain and snow showers totally depends on elevation and where you are. Snow level about 4,000 feet. So toward Ukiah, it looks like we're seeing a bit of a mix. Rain up toward Pendleton and then as you head into the Blue Mountains, snow there. Winter weather advisory in the Cascades. This is until 6 o'clock tonight. Just checked on government camp. It looks like roads have plenty of snow on them, but but uh, you'll see the black from the roadways from the tire treads. So looks okay as long as you take it easy. Snow level 3,000 feet with a grand total today, 6 to 12 inches of new snow. That's in total. So in addition to uh, whatever so we saw this morning. 13 inches so far at Timberline the last 24 hours. 10 inches at Mount Hood Meadows. Ski Bowl closing in on half a foot of snow. Here's your rain and cloud forecast. So you'll notice some sun breaks developing out along the north coast and potentially around Portland by 4 o'clock this afternoon. Meantime, snow showers continue in the Cascades and a mix of rain and snow showers east of the mountains. Tomorrow morning, I think a lot of us wake up dry, but spotty showers do develop. In the afternoon, some of these showers may briefly bring a burst of heavier rain, but plenty of dry time in the mix and sun breaks as well on Wednesday. Now, snow levels will be dropping down to about 1,500 feet tomorrow, so we may see a snowflake mixing in with the heavier showers, not expecting accumulation. Maybe 1,000 feet could see a quick dusting. And then as we head into Thursday and Friday. Things are looking drier. This is 8 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. Just a few stray showers around. And then in the afternoon, maybe a few more hit and miss showers. So really not anything that's going to impact our weather that much, but definitely much cooler temperatures on the way and can't rule out some of us seeing a snowflake or two late week. 47 right now in Vancouver and in Portland. It's 45 in Salem through the gorge. We're in the 40s, also in the 40s there in central Oregon. So this afternoon drying out along the coast. Afternoon sun breaks with wind gusts up to 25 miles per hour, highs in the upper 40s, low 50s. Same with the I-5 corridor, upper 40s, low 50s, rain tapering off with some sun breaks before sunset. East of the Cascades, scattered showers and breezy conditions through the gorge, wet weather, and breezy east between Hood River and the Dalles. Snow continues over the Cascades. I wanted to mention, you know, we've been dealing with so much rain and kind of gloomy weather, but the one silver lining is our days are getting a lot longer. Our sunset tonight, 546. So in total, we get two hours and 44 minutes of daylight. That's two hours and two minutes daylight gained since the winter solstice in December. So how's that for a little good news? Here's your seven day forecast. Another piece of good news. The weekend is looking dry and I think we'll get some sunshine on Saturday. In the meantime, hit and miss showers Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. You'll notice those temperatures low to mid 40s for highs, overnight lows at or below freezing. So again, maybe some snowflakes mixing in should not cause much of an impact in the lowest elevations. Maybe a quick dusting or accumulation in the hills around town.